These five tools help me stay productive as a software developer. <sighs> Wait a minute. I try this again. So you may have heard of some of them, but in this video, I will show you how I use them to speed up my development process. I travel a lot and I strive to be as productive as possible so I can develop efficiently while keeping up my busy lifestyle. Okay, so tool number one is GitHub Copilot. It helps me write my code, test my code, and even explain any public code on GitHub to me. It saves me a lot of time, but it costs $10 a month. On more expensive plans, it can even help you create pull requests, descriptions, and summarizations, but uh, that was not necessary for me. Um, overall, this is an awesome tool that can help you speed up your development process, but keep in mind that it's not always perfect, and sometimes you will have to correct it. So tool number two is X-Tiles. So this free planner is great for project tracking, ideas, mood board, even my travel planning, uh, basically my whole life. It's called X-Tiles and it's an easier alternative to Notion. You know, I travel so much and my life can feel like a chaos sometimes, but X-Tiles has been really easy and effective for me. So I've been using this tool for my new project, which is developer portfolio link and bio alternative. So I wasn't sure what I wanted it to look like. So gathering all of the ideas and then deciding what exactly I needed to build helped me make progress on this project so much faster. I love how I can customize my board and see everything on one screen, mix and match different content, add widgets and embeds. Um, if I end up pausing on this project due to a busy schedule, which happens quite often, when I'm ready to get back to it, I'll be able to pick it up exactly where I left it, uh, which can save me a lot of time in the long run. Another thing I love about this planner is that I can store a lot of information without getting overwhelmed. For example, the tabs can be nested in a group, so I don't end up with a long line of tabs. So this structure helps me declutter my brain, but keep everything together and easily accessible. X-Tiles also has collections that look similar to Notion databases, but are much more flexible and easy to use. So everything from your creative pages can be added to collections. And it's basically changed the game. They have a lot of templates, so you can choose one of them to get started quicker. This planner also works great on my phone, so I can add to-do lists and ideas on the go. And by the way, I will put all of the links for these five tools in the description of this video, so you don't have to worry finding them later. X-Tiles is so simple and easy to use for task management and it has a task panel plus Google Calendar integration. Um, so my schedule and tasks are synced between the desktop and mobile app and I believe their AI assistant is coming soon as well. Tool number three is Vercel. This has been a game changer ever since it came out years ago. Whenever I start a new project, I import my GitHub repo into the Vercel dashboard and then enjoy the seamless development process. I can have my website up and running with custom domain with preview instances in under five minutes. It's incredibly convenient and if you haven't tried it yet, you are definitely missing out. Tool number four is Prettier extension in VS Code. Prettier is an opinionated code formatter. That was really hard to pronounce, but basically it's an extension that helps you format your code. You can turn on the format on save feature and customize it per language basis. But basically every time I save my code, it automatically formats it in a readable way. This is a time savior and a huge help in maintaining the code and keeping the consistent formatting style between your team, for example. The final tool is Postman. Whenever I need to test an API call, I use it to make sure that everything works properly, which then helps me write my code better. This is it for today. I hope you found something useful and leave a comment if you already tried some of these tools or if you are planning to try them. I wish you happy coding and see you later.